Hi everyone, this is Trevor from astrobackyard.com and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the brand new William Optics Red Cat 51. The goal of the Red Cat 51 was to create an affordable, portable, lightweight, flat field imaging refractor with unmatched color correction in a quadruplet design. The Red Cat 51 is unlike any other telescope on the market and I think it's going to be a big deal in 2019. The Red Cat bridges the gap between a telephoto lens and a telescope. So let's get this baby open. First thing you'll see here is the Red Cat stickers. And now let's take a look at the case. Again with that signature cat logo on it, stitched, and the WO for William Optics. Okay, while I take it out of the case here, I'll just go over the specs of this telescope. So, as I mentioned, it's a Hetzville design, lens design, which is a quadruplet apochromatic refractor. It has a lens diameter of 51 millimeters, as you probably guessed from the name, a focal length of 250 millimeters with an F ratio of F 4.9. So the first thing you probably notice about this little scope, other than the fact of how small it actually is, is this vibrant red finish on it. It's really a luxurious looking telescope with the black and red. So the red cat logo on the dust cap you can see there and then this dust cap design is just like all of the modern William Optics refractors that has the built-in Batonoff mask inside so like that just this little guy and it fits nicely inside of the dust cap so let's look at the objective lens of the red cat which is 51 millimeter diameter and this is the FPL 53 synthetic fluoride glass and uh, to get the dew shield off it's actually inverted so you unscrew it like that and then to put it on the on the front you just flip it around and get it like that so another thing you might have noticed with the Red Cat right away is the lack of a rack and pinion focuser, a dual speed focuser like you would normally see on a refractor. And that's what really starts to make the Red Cat look more like a lens. It has a helical focuser here with this large textured black rubber ring. And that's how you focus this telescope, just like you would on a telephoto lens. So there's a tensioner ring up here where you can loosen the tension. And then after that, it's a matter of turning the helical focuser to find focus. Aside from astrophotography, the Red Cat can be used for wildlife photography just like you would use a telephoto lens. When I started bird photography, I actually used a refractor telescope as a prime lens because it was sharper than the uh, zoom lenses that I owned. The problem with that was the focuser made it really difficult to get a bird in focus with that really clumsy and slow focuser whereas the red cap because it has this helical focuser you now have the uh, fluid motion where you can actually capture subjects like that so i think the red cat does make an excellent wildlife photography lens especially for birds and uh, william optics has shared some footage that they've shot with the red cat for bird photography and it's quite remarkable so back to some cool features of the red cat the mounting plate at the bottom here is reversible so on one side you've got a vixen style mount or you can flip it over and it's the arca swiss style that you find in a uh, just a regular photo tripod next we'll look at the lens collar here so similar to you'd find on a prime telephoto lens you can loosen the collar to uh, rotate the scope within it or you can actually just take it out completely Speaking of rotation, 
Uh, the field rotator on the back of the scope here has this beautiful dial with every degree marked. So you loosen the tension knob here and you can spin the rotation of your image. So when you have the camera attached, you can change the rotation and know the exact uh, position that you've marked. On the back here we have the M48 adapter. So this is where you unscrew the cap and attach your DSLR camera or dedicated astronomy camera. You can actually thread a two inch filter inside of the red cap that's on the inside of the field rotator ring here. So you have to take this adapter ring off for that. This adapter also comes off if you want to put in the optional diagonal. So if a Petzville lens design is a new term for you, uh, you're not alone. It's an, actually a very old photography lens design from the 1800s that was known for being extremely sharp, mostly in the center of the frame, but now they've been able to correct that. And so you get the, the benefits of this Petzville design in terms of sharpness at a 250 millimeter focal length in an apochromatic refractor design. William Optics claims that this is the sharpest 250 millimeter lens in the world which is quite a bold claim and uh, until I use it I won't be able to back that up but I will say the example images I've seen uh, are incredibly sharp and flat uh, both for wildlife photography uh, footage and for astrophotography images. Speaking of astrophotography 250 millimeter focal length is extremely wide so if you thought a wide field imaging refractor uh, with a focal length of 480 millimeters was wide, this red cap is almost twice as wide as that. So those that like to capture very extremely wide deep sky astrophotography images that include multiple targets and clusters, entire regions of the Milky Way, the red cat is the telescope for you. The red cat's a very practical scope because it is so small. It can be mounted on a lightweight star tracker such as the Ioptron Sky Guider Pro and that's what I'll be using the Red Cat on. It's great for travel because it does pack up so small. It weighs 3.2 pounds so extremely lightweight, rather stocky for its size. Uh, the same weight as the Z61 despite being 10 millimeters smaller in diameter. The finish, the build quality, uh, how it, the presentation is just world-class on the Red Cat. I know a lot of time went into the design of this. I know because I saw each stage of the design working up to this telescope and I know it's a big deal to William Optics. And the question is whether the Red Cat 51 will be the baby of the family and they will work up from there. The Red Cat 51 is quite expensive and that is no doubt due to the quadruplet Petsville design and that uh, exotic glass used in it. But if you consider the use that you can get out of this thing where you can actually use it for daytime wildlife photography, a 250 millimeter lens with a rather fast focal ratio as far as telescopes go, f4.9 is no slouch. That is enough to pull in some serious light for fast moving targets on a less than bright day. That's everything when it comes to bird photography. So in terms of astrophotography, that wide field of view, the full imaging circle that completely covers a full frame camera. You'll get these spectacularly large and wide deep sky photos. So you'll want to use a full frame camera to really maximize the uh, power of the Red Cat 51. Because it is a quadruplet design, you do not need a field flattener with the Red Cat. So there's some savings there and that's something to consider when you are comparing the Red Cat to other scopes. It's a very useful and portable and capable astrophotography telescope. I'll just put it away back in the case here so you can see just how portable and compact it is. There it is there, so perfect for travel, astrophotography or wildlife photography. So I hope you've enjoyed this first look at the William Optics Red Cat 51 Petzville APO. Uh, I personally can't wait to use this outside on a clear night. 
which have been really rare lately. I'll also be bringing this with me to Costa Rica in two weeks for a little vacation with my wife. Our honeymoon is coming up. So that'll be the perfect chance to shoot some exotic birds with the red cat and uh, travel with it, of course. It'll just go in my carry-on. It's nice and small and hopefully even get some deep sky images on the sky guider as well while I'm down there. So thank you so much for watching and clear skies.